An attribute is a value placed inside the opening tag of an HTML element. Attributes provide additional information about the element or specify how the element should behave. Here is the basic syntax for an attribute. The attribute name is followed by an equal sign and a value in quotes. The value can be a string or a number depending on the attribute. Let's take a look at a few examples of common HTML attributes. The first example is the href attribute, which is used to specify the URL of a link. Without this attribute, the link would not work because there would be no destination URL. So you must include this href attribute to make the link functional. Other common attributes are the SRC or source and the ALT or alternative attribute, which is used here to specify the source of an image and provide alternative descriptive text for the image respectively. Similar to the href attribute, the SRC attribute is required because it specifies the image file to be displayed. The alt attribute is not required but is recommended for accessibility purposes. Accessibility means making sure that everyone, including those with disabilities, can use and understand things like websites, apps, and physical spaces. You will learn more about accessibility in the upcoming lectures. Some attributes are a little unique with their syntax, like the checked attribute shown here. In the following example, we have an input element with a type attribute set to checkbox. Inputs are used to collect data from users, and the type attribute specifies the type of input. In this case, the input is a checkbox. You will learn more about how inputs work in the upcoming lectures. The checked attribute is used to specify that the checkbox should be checked by default like this. The checked attribute does not require a value. If it is present, the checkbox will be checked by default. If the attribute is not present, the checkbox will be unchecked. This is known as a Boolean attribute. You will learn more about Booleans in general when you get to the JavaScript section. There are several common Boolean attributes you will encounter in HTML, such as disabled, read-only, and required. These attributes are used to specify the state of an element, such as whether it is disabled, read-only, or, you guessed it, required. HTML has many attributes that can be used to customize the behavior and appearance of elements on a web page. Understanding how to use attributes is essential for creating interactive and accessible web content. Over the next few lectures, you will learn about more HTML attributes and how to use them effectively in your web development projects.